Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today, what I want to talk a little bit about is my journey as a writer, uh, how I started and how I got to where I'm at right now. So this is not a topic I want to spend a long time on um, because I am so far from where I want to be as a writer that I don't really feel like I ought to say where I've been until I'm a little closer to where I want to be. I'm not sure why I feel that way, but it just kind of how it seems. Writing kind of came early. I was probably about seven or eight when I first started really getting into writing. I think I was probably about nine when I really got incredibly involved in this novel. I think I was very inspired by various fantasy stories. And so it really was kind of a knockoff of various fantasy stories I must have been reading at the time. I remember sitting in my parents' living room in front of the fire and writing it by hand. And uh, I remember my handwriting was really bad. Uh, and I would write on these notebooks that were blank and I couldn't keep the line straight. So I still actually have the manuscript and all the lines are just super crooked. They're all kind of like curving down this way uh, <laughs> along the page. Um, but that was the first thing I wrote and I actually finished it. Uh, and I, again, I still have it. I haven't looked at it in years. Um, I'm kind of afraid to, but I'm really glad I have it. So once I finished that, I think I took a couple years off and then I started working on another novel when I was probably around uh, I was probably 12 when I uh, wrote my next one. Um, and then I had a really productive um, stretch of time between age of 12 and probably 17. Um, I think I wrote three novels uh, and they were really kind of horrible, um, which is true of most people when they write stories when they're young. And um, But I think I was impressed that I was able to actually finish three and um, I was so much more diligent back then than I am now. And I also wasn't distracted by all the technology and things that we have today either. Um, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to do online back then. I was able to just sit at my computer and focus a lot more. It wasn't so difficult. So my goal back in high school was to become a published author um, by the time I graduated so that I wouldn't have to go to college. I'll, I, the idea was that I would be making money from the book and I could, you know, just go and buy a house and just be a writer and never have to go to school again. Uh, and I actually tried really hard to make that happen. Um, I remember I got the guide to literary agents book. I was querying tons of agents, um, with the book, which by the way, was the kind of, I would say a Dennis Lehane knock off in a way. Uh, I think I had just read Mystic River and was really inspired by that. So I wrote something in that vein, but I was only 17 or 16 when I started it. And Mystic River is a really kind of dense and pretty complex novel. So my mimicking that just, you can tell obviously did not work out too well, but um, I did get uh, some attention from a couple agents who were I think they were interested in the writing. I, the writing wasn't terrible. One of them got me in touch with an editor who worked with me for a little while. I ended up rewriting the whole story and that took about a year and it still just never went anywhere. I think the, the editor realized that uh, even after kind of the whole rewrite, it just didn't have a ton of potential. I think the editor was more encouraging and trying to just show me a few things that I didn't uh, really understand about storytelling. So it was a really useful experience, even though ultimately I remember being pretty frustrated by the end because I felt like I'd worked quite hard and it didn't go as I wanted. I obviously did not get the book published and I ended up having to graduate and go to college, which in retrospect, I was extremely lucky to be able to do, but that's how that went. And in college, I did study English. I got much more into writing nonfiction. The college I went to didn't really have a lot of creative writing. It was much more academic and um, based on just literary analysis. And so I got 
really invested kind of in just writing those types of things. And also I was interested in writing film criticism at the time too. So that's kind of where my writing passions lay for a couple of years. I kind of forgot all about writing fiction for a while. And I graduated from college and really wanted to make the film criticism thing happen. But film criticism is a dying art form and you really have all next to no chance of getting a job as a critic today. I didn't love it quite enough to do it uh, knowing it never really had much of a chance of going anywhere. I mean, it obviously could, but there's a lot of people kind of doing the same thing and it just didn't feel that exciting after a while. I didn't feel like just analyzing other people's work and talking about why it was good or why it was bad. Kind of wanted to have a more kind of exhilarating creative experience. A couple years after that, I got this idea for a story and initially started writing it as a screenplay. And the story really just started with an image. As I was writing it, I started writing it as a novel as well, which is kind of a weird thing to do, but I was writing simultaneously a script and a novel of the same story. And as soon as I started writing it as a novel, it sort of opened the floodgates for all these sort of memories of when I used to write fiction. And I was like, oh yeah, this is why I used to do this. And this is why I was so kind of enamored with it. Cause I'd just kind of just forgotten what it was like to actually sit down and, and write stories. And as soon as I started writing it as a novel, not a script, that happened. And I was like, okay, novel wins. And so I kept working at that. Then through all that, you know, I discovered writing microfiction and other types of short stories and writing haiku uh, and then writing the novel. And uh, one thing I've learned is that of all the different types of stories I like to write, I like to write things that are brief. You can probably tell at this point, um, if I'm writing poetry, it's probably gonna be haiku, which is so short three lines. If I'm writing a short story, it's probably going to be micro fiction. Uh, I try to make it a thousand words or less. And if it's a novel, I would like it to be 60,000 words or about 200 pages. Uh, I really like those types of lean, very compact novels. And those are the types that I'd like to write. Uh, I don't know for sure why I like things to be so short. It just feels completely right to me. And I'm just going to stick with it and I'll probably figure it out at some point exactly why it is I love it, but right now I just know that it works for me, so that's what I'm, I'm sticking with. But anyway, I could talk a lot more about how I sort of moved back into writing fiction um, after college, but I don't want to bore you with all those details. Just wanted to give you a kind of general outline of kind of where I started and how I got to where I'm at right now. Um, and again, I still feel like I've got so far to go that I don't really want to say too much more about it. I just want to keep working and uh, keep making these videos. And thanks so much for watching. And give the video a like if you liked it. And subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done that. And that's all I got for today. So we'll see you next time.